Welcome back to SM Galleries. We are here with Katharina Michio. Uh, she was born in Brooklyn and lived in the city, lived in Manhattan for many years and studied art in Manhattan. So, Katharina, tell us a little bit about how you started painting musicians. Um, in 2001, a friend of mine opened a club called The Cutting Room in the City. And he asked me if I wanted to do a show there. Originally, it was a rotating show every month. There would be a different artist up on the wall. And when he asked me to do a show, I literally sat there. I kept going back for like a month and staring at the walls and trying to figure out what I would do. I always did portraits, but I just couldn't really figure out what I wanted to do for a show, and then um, it came to me, which seems obvious for a music venue now. Um, I did, I painted musicians, and once I did the show, it was so successful that they ended up keeping it there, and um, it was there for 10 years when the place closed, and now there's a new cutting room, and I have my second um, show, which is uh, it's the second generation of Faces of Music collection, um, at the cutting room, which are G plays of the, are of the originals, and this is actually the third generation. So when uh, Robert um, Molina had asked me to do the show here, I thought that I would get uh, a little bit edgier, and so this is Faces of Music Collection Three. There, she plays hand embellished on top, and I put a little bit of collage in it. I, I gave a feather to uh, Steven Tyler. I eldened up the <laughs> the Keith Richards. I call it Keith Richards the Elder because if you see the original Clay or the original uh, oil painting, he's much much younger in it. And um, and as I was painting over this, he just kept getting a little older and a little older. <laughs> So, and I wanted to do something a little edgier uh, to complement and also um, be equally as edgy as the rest of the group. Right, that's awesome. Um, I love that, that these are, that it's built on top of what you've already have. Basically when I decide to paint someone, whether it be a musician or anyone, I really, really like to bring out the expression in their face. Women sometimes don't particularly like it that much because it does show, you know, deep crevices. And so I do tend to paint a lot more men just because um, it really, like, really, really show the expression on their faces. And when they're singing, when they're performing, um, usually I take a YouTube still of when they're singing and I pause it and I take that picture. So. One, it's my original picture that I'm painting from, and I get to choose on the expression that 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 they're um, singing from. So um, that's that's how I get inspired. That's awesome. <laughs> I I would not have guessed that that's how you find the portrait, but that's great. Yeah, that's, that's what I do. In fact, I have a really great quick story um, about Billy Joel. They had asked, Billy Joel was performing at the cutting room, and they asked, his people asked me to do a portrait of him. And first I said, young Billy, old Billy, I don't know, what Billy to paint, because he looks so completely different. And um, so I did that exact thing. I watched him perform uh, at Madison Square Garden, and I shot a still of him just when he was looking up at Madison Square Garden and the look on his face was like, oh my God, this is Madison Square Garden. And it was just, you know, about five years ago when he was there. And um, it was that expression that I caught. And when I actually met him there, he told me he remembered doing that. He remembered that exact moment, which gave me chills through my body because I was the one that, that chose that frame, you know, just to shoot right then. So that was really cool. That's awesome. That's yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Katrina, for being a part of SM Galleries and being part of our show. Well, for me, this was a no-brainer when I was asked uh, by Rob Molina to, to do the show because um, I just, you know, when, when I decided to do it, I realized that this is the first art gallery that ever existed um, in Coney Island 
since it opened in the 1820s, so it's a no-brainer to me to be part of this. It's so special. Absolutely, and we're very excited to see more of you in the future and for all of you guys to see more of us. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video, make sure you like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at SM Galleries. To follow me on Twitter, you can find me at Bodacious underscore case. And to find out more about Coney Island, visit ConeyIslandUSA.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.